everyone, my name is Teacher Renee. I've been working in the ESL community for over three years in both brick and mortar as well as online schools. And I recently just wanted to begin sharing a bit of my journey with everyone. So this video is really just gonna highlight some of the basics of what it is to be an online ESL teacher. We are gonna be covering specifically the online platform and most of this will be dealing with teaching children. So I'm gonna go over what I'm currently doing with you guys. This again is the very base level. You've never heard of this type of introduction video. If you look at my other videos, I do have more details about the companies I work for. Um, I'll be doing income reports as well as sharing some helpful tools with you. But this one, like I said, is just gonna give us the basics. So first of all, what is ESL? ESL is teaching English as a second language, which means that your, um, your students do not speak much or maybe speak some English. It is not their primary language and our job is to teach them English. So one of the first questions is who, why, and do I have to speak another language? Um, who? We are basically teaching, um, one of the biggest markets is China. A lot of Chinese students are looking to learn English and it is taught in their schoolroom and the curriculum, but a lot of it is just kind of rote memorization, not a lot of conversational practice to really ingrain the language. So a lot of Chinese parents do choose to have their students tutored by native English speakers, which means English has to be your first language and most of them want a North American accent. I'm sorry, Britain and Ireland, a lot of companies aren't as okay with the British accent. So they're looking for someone who was born speaking English. You could be bilingual, but you have to have been born into a family where you spoke English as your first language or as a bilingual language. And they're looking for that standard American accent for their children to get natural English um, ability. So that's what they're looking for. There's a huge market for this because a lot of parents are willing to pay a premium for their children to get this level up in their economy. They're speaking English. So that's what we're doing. Now, do you need to know Chinese? You do not. We are not supposed to use Chinese in the classroom. We want the students to use as much English as possible, even if that is, hi, how are you? Are you happy? And we'll still say yes. And if they don't, we'll say yes. And then we'll do this and they'll get the memo that they're supposed to respond to us. That is called TPR, which is total physical response using our bodies and our and props, such as like Mr. Monkey here, to get the student to say what we want them to say. So that is what we do. We are trying to elicit the English from them um, in a basic manner, and there are a lot of things that make this different from normal teaching. In a normal teaching setting, the teacher does a lot of talking, especially if it's lecture. You're teaching content. Not so with ESL. With ESL at a low level, we want the inter teacher to student interaction ratio to be 50-50. We want them talking at least half of the time. And really what that's gonna be at a low level is I say, you say. I say, you say. Repeat, repeat, repeat. And then eventually I ask a question, you give me a scripted answer. It's gonna be a long time before we break out of that into more conversation. Once they're more intermediate and advanced and can talk more on their own, this is a 70-30 is the goal. We want the students speaking 60 to 70 percent of the time, the teacher 30 to 40 percent of the time. We're asking questions, having them do readings, having them tell us stories, and we're there for correction, for modeling correct pronunciation, and things like that. So it's very different from traditional teaching if you have done it, because we are very aware of what we're saying, Sometimes we can only use the most basic words like good and yes and smile and you're, you're not really saying, hey, how are you today? It's so good to see you. How about you say this? We're not. We're saying, hello, how are you? Red. Good. And that's it. So it's a very different type of teaching, but it's also very rewarding and fun. So I've answered the question, what is it? Do you have to know Chinese? You do not and about the market. There is a huge market for this and there are a lot of companies. But let me let you in on what I've learned. Um, I graduated with a linguistics degree for my bachelor's and I actually have a CELTA certification for ESL, which is one of the higher certifications. You do not have to get that. Um, so I have had extensive training in this field and I've taught in the brick and mortar as well as in um, online world. Some of the companies are not good. Um, a lot of them are for profit. I've worked for a brick and mortar company that is now closing down. They were very money hungry. They did not care about the students or the teachers. So I got burned out. And finding the good company that really cares about its teachers is the most important part. So not only have I found one better company, so I'm back in it, I've actually found multiple companies that I can say that I'm proud to work with that I feel like do treat their teachers and their students 
very well. So I'm going to be sharing um, about that later in my channel. But for what you need to know is probably next the qualifications. If you wanted to get into this field, what would you need to do? Um, you would need to have a computer um, with a webcam, a handy dandy headset, and some type of educational background. Just put it on a wall. Um, I'm going to do a video later on how I made this very cheaply, very easily. I'm not crafty, but I did it. So you can too. Those are the things you're going to need. You're also, as of January 1st, 2019, going to need some type of TESOL certificate. China has decided to change their laws that all online teachers must have some type of certificate. Now, lucky for all of us, they are not super picky on what that is. I have a CELTA, which is kind of like gold standard. I understand it's thousands of dollars, it's four weeks, it's an intensive, a lot of people can't afford that. Lucky for everyone, Groupon comes to the rescue. The International Open Academy, they have a great program that you can buy for $19 right now. This is going to be several hours of, um, of instruction and will give you a TESOL certificate that will allow you to get these jobs. As you can see, it's trending. 70 bought today. There's a lot of teachers who are rushing to get this certification done so that they can um, so that they can continue with their teaching posts. So that's something you can do. Um, the jury is out on whether or not companies will hold you to sign your contract till you complete. Like if you could go ahead and apply, make sure that you're in, and then do the certificate, or if you should go for it. Um, if you really want to make a career out of this, I would just say go for it, and then you know, discuss and start the applications and see if they make you wait or what they want you to do. But there's going to be a lot of good information there that's going to make you a better teacher. So that's the big qualification. Now, bachelor's degree or some type of education. One company I work for will take high school diplomas in some college. As long as you can prove your high school diploma or show the college transcripts, they will take you as a teacher. This is an excellent opportunity for college students or people who did not go to college, but especially like college students in, edu in elementary education. You can do this from your dorm room, just get a little wall over your bed, in the early mornings before class, make money and have something amazing to put on your resume. So that brings me to the hours. What type of hours is this? Well, thinking, you're teaching in China. Now I'm in the Eastern Standard Time, New York time zone. So for me, China is between um, maybe 12 and 13 hours different from us, depending on daylight savings time. When they are free is in the evenings in China, so from about 6 p.m. till about 9 or 10 p.m. Each evening, sometimes not as late with the little ones, and as well as Saturday and Sunday mornings for them. Now that translates to very early in the morning, we're talking like for Eastern time, 5 a.m. to about 8 a.m. for me, um, or a little earlier if you want to go earlier. I personally don't go much earlier than 5.30, um, as well as Friday and Saturday evenings, which is their Saturday and Sunday morning from about 8 p.m. all the way up until um, about 10 p.m. So I think it actually some companies start around 7 p.m., which is, would be their 7 or 8 a.m., or 6 or 7 a.m., depending on the time zone. So those are the hours you're going to be looking for. Um, I do probably about 24, 25 hours a week. I mainly open my 5.30 a.m. to 8 uh, a.m., which makes me teach from 5.30 to 8.30 a.m., six days a week, as well as from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. I have that open Monday through Friday through Saturday nights, but it normally only books on um, Friday, Saturdays. If there are younger kids at home or there's a break and they're out of school or in the summers, they would be booking some of those classes and that can be a great way to make money. Once again, teachers in the summer, it's to be perfect for you guys. So those are the hours you're going to work as well. And then pay. Pay varies. Um, you should make at least $20 an hour. Um, I would not take, oh, sorry, let me back that up. You should probably make at least 15 to $16 an hour. I wouldn't really take much less than that. Um, one of the companies starts people out a little bit on the lower end. Magic Ears, which is one of the companies I work for, I'll be detailing later, that does take you without that diploma. Um, makes it very easy to get about 20 to an hour, um, between 20 and 20 to an hour, very, very easily, um, at minimum 18. So most of mine, I personally wouldn't take um, less than 18, and I try to keep everything as close to 22 as possible. So that's good money. So can you make money with this? Yes, you can. There is a lot of different ways companies do booking, so you have to be aware of that too. Some companies, the parents find you, and then you're kind of responsible for building that relationship and keeping that student, or you're not going to get paid. Um, Magic Ears is another unique one in the fact that they book for you. The parents don't choose the teacher. There's pros and cons to this. 
Um, so, so you can just get bookings and those bookings normally are based on your rank. So figuring out like, when can I quit my job? How can I make this a part-time thing? Um, it does take some time. It took me, I started in about October, started applications in September, started teaching in October, I believe, or the end of September. And by December, mid-December, I was able to quit my job. Um, I, I did um, car sales, actually, car mats. And I was able to quit my job and do this as kind of like my part-time gig, um, about 25 hours a week while I'm pursuing my master's degree. So my goal, I have to make a minimum of $1,300 for us even to stay afloat each month. But I would, my goal is to eventually hit $2,000 a month from this business. Um, it is a business. Uh, we'll talk more about that later. Um, but right now, at this month, I'm already at about $1,600. Um, and we've got another week to go, or about five more days to go. So it's working. Yes, you can make money. Um, and there are things I can tell you to kind of help you plan you know, what would this look like for me and my schedule and my availability and how long would it take me to get to X amount of dollars? Can you make three, four thousand dollars a month doing this? Eh, maybe if you want to pull third shift and work through the night in the summers, but most people I think are content with, with that amount and that's a pretty good amount of teaching. The other great thing about all these companies, sorry, those are my dogs, um, the prep work is done for you. So you do not have to um, prep. You, you do have to look over the lesson, you do have to have props handy, but the prep work is done for you. So, that's a little bit of the basics of what teaching ESL is, what you can expect to be paid, um, how to look out for a good company, um, what money you can make, the hours, um, and then kind of where to go from here. So if you go and check out some of my other videos, you will see that um, I'll profile three different companies that I work for. I'll tell you about the application processes for them all. I'll also tell you more about taxes because you will be an independent contractor running your own business. So taxes are all different. Um, I'll be explaining all of that to you guys. But until then, if you're um, tired of waiting or you have a burning question, that's my email address right there for a reason, teacherreneecj at gmail.com. So please feel free to send me an email at any time about anything. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and I'd be happy to tell you more about this ESL journey that I have been on um, and why I'm passionate about it. So recap, yes, you can make money. You can make at least $18 an hour, if not 20 to $22 an hour doing this. You can make a decent amount of money part time. The hours are early mornings, late evenings, and you get to choose your hours. You are running your own business as an independent contractor and your main client, if you go this route, will be children in China um, from ages 4 to probably 12, 13, 14, but mostly the younger ones um, a good bit. So that's going to be your primary goal if you choose to go this route. And um, like I said, please watch more videos to get more information and I will look forward to hearing from you. Once again, Teacher Renee, teacherreneecj at gmail.com. Also feel free to like us on Facebook. Oh, and the Groupon link. I will have a link to Groupon down in the comments. If you want to click on that and then search for that TESOL certificate with the International House, that is about $20 right now, which is an excellent deal. That will get you started on the route to, te to teaching English. Okay, guys. Thanks. Feel free to comment, send an email. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.